Well, hey there folks, welcome back to Auto Drive Academy. I'm Mighty Mike, and today we're gonna look at how you can change the direction of the entire segment of your course. Uh, we're here on a brand new game save, and as you know, Auto Drive will now prompt you at the beginning of a, of a save if you want Auto Drive to automatically create courses. And it does a pretty good job most of the time. But as you can see here, we do have a couple courses here. This course running down this main road is actually slightly off center and it is going one direction. And then we have the course headed down this road, a little side road that is only going one direction. And they're not even connected here. So we have a couple things we can do. Uh, you can drive down this road in your vehicle, clicking all of these, changing them directions or deleting them to recreate a new course or in this case I actually want this road to be set up as a bi-directional road uh, I know on this particular save I won't have that much traffic uh, with my farm vehicles so we're just going to have a bi-directional road running right down the middle and then same thing with this road I just want to have it as a bi-directional road. Now it is a little bit offset from the center. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Uh, that is not a big deal. So the first thing that you're going to have to do is create an intersection because this only works from an intersection. So you see right here, we don't have an intersecting point between these two courses. So the easiest way to do that is just simply click one of the dots, click the other, and now the course is connected. So now this will work. What you're going to do in order to change the direction of the course, you're going to click the first node, which is going to be the node at the intersection. So left click there. And then at, when we go to the next node here, I'm going to hold down control. Now you see, it's hard to see, but the arrows, let me zoom in here just a little bit so maybe you guys can see it. Watch closely on these arrows. When I hit control, oh, I gotta, let me reselect the intersection here. Now, when I hit control, do you see those arrows change in direction? And I let off control, press control. So if I'm holding control and left click on this first node past the intersection, it changed directions. Do you see that? Now, instead of all of these arrows pointing down the road, they're pointing back toward this intersection. Now, so that changed the direction of that, that entire path all the way to the end. Now, if I do it again, same thing, hold down control. Now, you notice the line is turning blue. And I hit left click. And now you see that this whole route has changed to a bi directional path. Very cool. Very, very cool. Same thing. If we want to go and change the, the route back down this road, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to click the node at the intersection. We're going to hit control at the first node and left click. Now it changed it to, to a bi-directional. Let's say we want to change it back to a route that just goes that direction. Same thing. Left click. Hold control, left click, and now it is going that direction. Very cool. But there's a, another thing that you can do. Uh, in a previous episode, we talked about side roads. So let's just say, let's just pretend that this road here is just a little side road that goes down to one of our fields. We don't want our vehicles going down it unless it is absolutely necessary. So same thing, we can left click on our intersecting node and instead of control, you hold down shift. You notice the line has changed to a, a yellow or gold color. So we click it and there you go, we have a side road. And it is a multi-directional side road. So the same thing applies if you did want to change the direction 
Uh, same thing, we're just going to click the node and press control and hover over and now you can see it as a one-way side road. And we can do the same thing, we'll hit control again, change it back to, or change it to a different direction here. One more time and we're back to the bi-directional on the side road. But if we want to change it back from a side road to a normal road, very easy. Left click, hold down shift, and here we are back to a normal path. Isn't that very cool? And you could do the same thing if we want to just change this. We're going to change this entire segment here to bi-directional. Left click at the intersection, hold down control. I have to do it twice sometimes, depending on what direction it is. And there you have it. That entire road all the way back to the next intersection has been changed. So to show you that, I want to drive down here. The intersection down this way is not very far. But this proves useful, especially if uh, in the case of a, a, a new map save like this, if the auto drive just does not pick it up correctly. I mean, yeah, you could go delete this entire course, which is, which is a pain. Or you could just create a new course on top of it. It will look messy, but it will work. Or you can just choose to do this. If this type of route will work for you, then this should uh, be very helpful. As you see here, the road is still green, so the direction of those lanes or those paths have not changed, but yet the path that we just clicked on did. And like I said, it will go to the next intersection. In this particular case, there is not an intersection, but we could do the exact same thing here, connect it up, and then now here we have an intersection. So I can do the same thing left click, hold control, and hit it, and that actually changed our changed our connector there, and then do the same thing, and now that entire thing is just changed back to a one-way route. Something so simple, I, I cannot tell you how many times I've driven down a road because I wasn't happy with the direction of the path, either changing between each node, clicking and changing, or deleting the entire thing and re-recording it because I messed up or it was an instance like this where AutoDrive picked it up automatically. I hope this helped you. If it did, please be sure to click that thumbs up button. That is the most important thing you can do. Leave me a comment. Let me know if it did help you out. If you have any other questions about AutoDrive, leave that in the comments below. Share the video with anyone you wish. I thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. And I hope you have a great day.